Hi, my loves. So we're doing a little, sorry, I keep looking at myself in the mirror because, you know, I don't normally do the little bun thing on, on camera unless it's like get ready with me. But this is as ready as I got today, y'all. <laughs> so my project pan is going to be a little different. So hopefully you've watched the foundation project pan. That will be linked below. I have, since filming that, ran out of my YSL. So it's time for me to buy a new one. I don't yet know what I'm going to get, though. You know, when you put yourself on some restraints, it causes you to really think a little bit more about what you're going to purchase. So I got to do some research <laughs> before I decide what I will be purchasing. So this project pan is all about my primers okay I mean we might as well just get into it right oh so wait so in order for me to purchase a new primer I got an empty one and some of these are like deluxe samples so we may say for every three deluxe samples equals one primer does that make sense is that are y'all feeling it? <laughs> so I have to empty one primer before I can purchase another one, unless it's a deluxe sample, and then I gets to empty three before I can purchase a new primer. And I don't know that any of these are close to being empty, so that Tatcha primer is just gonna have to wait. Just gonna have to wait. <laughs> so if you'd like to see my primer collection and what I got to start moving through, then just keep watching. list I got this in a boxy charm it's the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer um, this is pretty good I like this under more drying matte formula as a foundation so if I'm using say the Jouer foundation I will use a primer similar to this so we're counting that as one photo finish primerizer so this is a primer and moisturizer in one and I do really really like it but I don't pull for it very often because I like it so much I'm trying to special occasion kind of deal uh, so I wear this just like the luminizer primer I wear this under very matte drying foundations so that's two next I have the born to glow by NYX this one my holy grails <laughs> I love this primer again I use this under matte kind of drying foundations so three Next, we have the MAC Strobe Cream. Um, this is also a hydrating primer. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not a fan, and I don't use it. And MAC's not cruelty free, so. But I gotta get through it, so. Oh, and I use this under the matte foundations. Four. I have my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. If you watched my um youtube channel back in you know about a year ago when i really started getting into it this was my jam like this is the only primer that i used um it's smoothing with rosehip and argon oil and it's pore perfecting i actually find that this works well under almost any foundation i love it five next we have the Lorac light source three-in-one illuminating primer I actually don't use this as a primer um, I use it I put a few drops in primers or foundations that I think are too heavy or too matte um, just to kind of lighten the foundation up so it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard to get through this y'all I'm gonna have to put like a drop in every time I use a foundation let me put a drop let me put a drop <laughs> uh, all right Six. Next we have a hair. One heck of a blot by Soap and Glory. This is supposed to shrink your pores and mattify your foundation. I hate this primer. So, but I, I'm going to use it. It just, it makes my, my foundations look cakey. 
Maybe if I mix a little of this and a little of this, we could come up with a good little primer. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Now we're getting into some minis. We have the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this provides an instant soft focus. I'm actually not a fan. This is the first Charlotte Tilbury product that I've purchased that I've not liked. I love it. And I think if I was going to have a no makeup day, this would be great because it's actually kind of tinted. Um, but I have yet to find a foundation that sits well on it. So, alright, this is a deluxe sample. So, we were at seven, but we're not at, at we're not at eight yet. Whew, say that three times fast. All right, we have the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Pl Blur Primer. Law Jesus, this is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. The YSL tests on animals, so I loved it, but couldn't buy it because it's not cruelty free. But it is so good. So you can see there's not a lot. Well, there actually is a lot, kind of half a jar left in there. But we saved this for. We want to look good. <laughs> we have the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. I like it, but I have a lot of matte foundation, so I don't mix matte with matte. Um, so I don't use this very often. That was three, so now we're at eight. I have two of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecting Liquid. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. I have not used this yet, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. That makes three, so now we are at eight. Okay, the Pore Freshional Pearl Primer. So this is the Pearl, the Pore, <laughs> this is the Pore Freshional with illumination in it, with illumination in it. Um, I've only used this once. The one time I used it, it was okay. But I didn't get overly excited. Um, we have two of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Uh, yeah, they're okay. I mean, I wouldn't purchase these for full price. But having a couple of little samples, that's pretty good. We have the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I haven't really touched this since the summer. This makes your pores completely disappear. But it is so easy to use too much and make your foundation cakey. I have done it a thousand times with this. When I get it just right, I am just right. <laughs> but when I mess it up, and I seem to mess it up more often than not. So... It's a difficult little primer, but uh, but it does work. Becca First Light Priming Filter. I really like these. I do think they kind of give your skin kind of a glow, but kind of a balance. They kind of calm down any redness you have. I like these. So, eleven. Two itty bitty teeny tiny. We have the. I never can say this right. It's by Guerlain. It's the Leor, Leor Essence de Claw. It's the one with all the gold flecks in it that Tati says is the bomb. It does nothing for my skin. I can tell no difference. <laughs> and then we have the poor, poor professional. Just a little teeny tiny thing. So we won't even count these in the mix. So we had how many? How many times do I count these? That is 11 foundations. Remember, I have to use up one. Did I say foundations? I need that. I have to use up one primer in order to be able to purchase another one. Or three of the deluxe samples will equal one. So, we better get to priming. <laughs> I told you I would do my project pans a little differently. Next, we're about to hit the highlighters. Whew. All right, y'all. Wish me luck on this Project Pan journey. Uh, oh, wait. Hold up. 
Hold up. I almost let you guys go without um, subscribe. Uh, Laura Lee, she's got the song stuck in my head. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. I got giveaways going on like crazy. Follow me on my Project Pan journey. I got a new series called Palette Roulette, and uh, it didn't go real well today. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time.